Hey guys, I'm so happy and excited to be here because we're gonna make two raw vegan Italian pastas. Thumbs up for Italian vegan pastas. Yay! Honestly, I'm so excited to share these recipes with you guys because they are super easy to make and they are absolutely delicious. Anyone will love them. So are you ready? Let's do this. First of all, we're gonna make our pasta. I use zucchini, but you can use cucumber or you can even use whole grain pasta. There's pasta made out of quinoa, out of lentils. So you cut off the ends and to make the noodles, I'm gonna use this little machine, this little gadget called a spiralizer. You can find this at Bed Bath & Beyond, you can find it on Amazon. And if you don't have this, it's okay. You can just use a potato peeler or a julienne peeler that will make the strips however you want. You can even use these sauces as salad dressing, but I personally like them in a pasta. So now we're gonna make our first sauce, which is a marinara sauce. Mm, mm, mm. So you're gonna need from four to six tomatoes, depending on how big your tomatoes are, half red bell pepper cut up, one fourth cup of sun-dried tomato previously soaked. You wanna soak them for about two to three hours so that it's easier to blend. One fourth cup minced onion. I use white onion, but you can use whatever other onion you want. Garlic. I used one because I'm not a huge fan of garlic, but you can use as much garlic as you want. Half a serrano pepper or jalapeno minced. I need to add my Mexican kick to it. If you don't like hot things, then I would advise you to leave this ingredient out. One third cup of fresh basil, and you can use dehydrated basil if you don't have the fresh one. One fourth cup fresh oregano or dry. One teaspoon of sea salt or Himalayan salt. And if you don't wanna use salt, it's fine. You can just use like a strip of celery and this will add salty flavor to it. And that's it. You put all of these ingredients in the blender, blend it all really well, and voila! Pasta number one is ready. You're gonna pour it over your zucchini noodles, put a little basil on top, and... <sighs> Looks divine, honestly. So good. Second recipe is a cilantro basil pesto. Now I know that I have a couple pesto recipes here on my channel, but this one, you guys, it's just different. Like I had to share it with you. It's really, really good. For this, you're gonna need three fourths cup of pumpkin seeds, half to one avocado, half a cup of fresh basil, half a cup of minced cilantro, one teaspoon of sea salt, one garlic clove, or however much you want. I'm adding half of a serrano pepper to give it a little Mexican kick <laughs> and one fourth cup of lemon juice. You put all of these ingredients in the blender. And also I'm gonna add a zucchini to just add more volume to the dressing. I peeled it, but you don't have to peel it. Depending on how thick you want, add the desired water. So you blend that really well and it's ready. Our pasta number two, our pesto is, ah, is looking so good, honestly, and it smells amazing. You pour that over your zucchini noodles and you got yourself a raw vegan pesto pasta. Yum! The moment we have all been waiting for, you guys. The moment of truth, the moment where I get to try it. You know what the best part is? I'm doing this video in English and Spanish, so I get to try this four times. Like, one, two, three, four. You got it? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's see. Love the kick of the serrano pepper in there. It just, it, it just makes it like a hundred times better. Like, it's so good. It's seriously so, 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 so good. I'm gonna try this one. Oh my gosh, this is super creamy. This is really, really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I love the combination of cilantro with basil, the creaminess of the seeds with the avocado, and the serrano pepper in there with the lemon. Oh, so perfect. If I had to choose one of these, I don't know, it's so hard. Like I want them both, but I'm going for the marinara this time. It's just calling my name. It's really, really good. Let me know in the comments below which one you like. 
which one you prefer and which one you want to make. And if you make this one, please upload a picture on Instagram. Use the hashtag Ravana, tag me Ravana so that I can see it, I can like it. I honestly get so excited when I see that you've made the food that I share with you, like I'm just, I get super excited. Please like my video. You guys help me so much if you like this video. And I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Yes, I'm still using Snapchat and Pinterest, all at Ravana. I'll see you guys there, okay?